Well, what up, St. Pissers? Y'all see that coffee cup? I can't tip it too far, so I got some coffee in there. But, uh, no, man, I just want to do like an impromptu video. I want to talk about this AD10 and this, this Zimbizi. It's made by Rosecraft. Everybody knows it's coast still. I ain't going to go over any stats or anything. But I'm, I freshly acquired this one a couple weeks ago. <clears throat> I think the deal's actually done now. I've uh, been carrying it uh, every day since I got it in the mail. This coffee cup don't kill the flavor of coffee. You know how we roll though. Like it doesn't matter, you know, like it, they're available in the merchandise on the YouTube store. But uh, you know, uh, Courtney made the design, you know, like look like a couple of people there standing around the sink pissing. But uh, you know, like, uh, yeah, I was gonna order it. It's just like everything else. I got a knife journal and stuff. She, she'll design shit, you know, uh, cause she knows I'll buy it. You know, like, it don't matter if y'all buy it or not. But if you do, you know, the money goes to the channel. You know how we do it around here. Um, Anyway, um, this this roast craft is damn busy. I'm gonna get this coffee cup off of this leather. By the way, I think I'm gonna try my hand at making a a, a slip for a, a a slip joint. You know, like a leather slip. I got everything here to do it, and it won't be anything like preventing me from being able to do it. I got uh, well, I got everything here except for some glue. I need to get some leather glue. You know, um, it's like it's gonna be a midweek ramble, y'all. Um, but I got the thread, I got the, I got the, the awl, and, you know, got the, got the punches and stuff, you know, so, like, I, I feel like we should be able to, uh, make, you know, make that thing up. I'm not going to make them to sell or anything. I may give some away. Uh, so, like, if, uh, may make a video on it. I don't know, man. That leather work stuff on this channel really didn't, uh, I don't think it resonated too great. I think it, <clears throat> you know, it was part of the, you know, anyway, it don't matter. But, regardless, man, 8010. I like it. I like it. I do. I do. I like it. Zambezi. Not my normal size, right? But I'm like seriously. Very nice to have around. It, it came in very, very useful. It was. It was nice to be able to have a, a knife. I can do a four finger grip on this thing easily, as long as I choke up and use that finger. That very generous finger choil, and. I got this little bitty blade that is bad ass. Like I like I, I can tell you it's bad ass all day. Let me get some paper and prove it to you. The Cold Steel 10 don't really need no introduction. You know, you guys know all about that, and that's fine. I just kind of want to go into my watch this. And it's been cutting stuff all week. How the little bitty ass knife is soft as shit. Like anyway, that's copy paper, but um, it's effortless going through there, and I ain't stropped it, I ain't sharpened, I ain't done nothing to it, man. All I've done is use it. Uh, so, Andy, I, you know, I, I sent Andy a message. I said, you ain't gonna believe this, man, but that Zambezi is becoming uh, one of my <laughs> one of my favorite users really fast. And it's just, it's, it's not that I. I normally, like, you wouldn't catch me dead like carrying a rat tooth, you know? There's nothing wrong with a rat tooth. I can get four finger grip on that too. I don't know, I may change my mind. But having a nice, uh, having a small knife around has been really useful. I've been carrying the 15 and the 10 just to kind of compare the two, see if, uh, like, see which one I like the best. That's gonna be hard, it's gonna be real hard. But I tell you what, man, I was, I was thinking about ordering a K87 uh, if you guys don't know what that is, that's a very historical knife at Pat Crawford, which is Wes Crawford's dad, that's uh, Crawford Knives. He, uh, he and A.G. Russell uh, worked on that knife and released it in 1987, and it's got like the same lock. It's not exactly the same. You know, it's, it's been changed a little bit, but the, you know, they, they called it the, the top lock for, uh, for a second, and then they, then they called it the, uh, the frame lock. Um, before frame locks were a thing because it was actually part of the frame like it, it it didn't operate off of a pivot system it operated you know it was just a piece of a frame and it had a bar up here and it snapped into this little notch I was watching Pivotal Blades video on his 8010 earlier and uh, it just reminded me of, of, of the story about how this uh, whole scorpion lock really came to be in the first place and it all happened when Wes Crawford signed, you know, like uh, agreed to do a knife of code steel. And I, I got that knife around too. So uh, 
anyway, I think it's an interesting story. I don't think there's any bad guys in the story uh, exactly, but I do I do believe uh, the story is worth telling. Uh, which I mean, you can find the story if you want to find the story. I love Nemco knives, uh, so don't don't think I'm a hating on them or anything like that because I do love Nemco knives, and I'm proud to own the 8010. I've been looking at the uh, original goat scales. And those original goat scales, that uh, they had some titanium. They also got some aluminum in stock. The titanium is on back order right now, and they're reasonably priced at like a couple hundred dollars per set, uh, and they're milled and all that stuff, and they're pretty, man. You know, like, but uh, I think I was looking at the MM2s, but they had the same ones in aluminum, and they're actually in stock and ready to go. So I, they're like 75 bucks. So I'm, I'm thinking about getting uh, MM2s for for the 8010 and thinking about getting a mm2 for the 8015 as well so you may have a video with that coming up where i'm taking all this shit apart and i'll get it apart i might not get it back together but i'll get it apart but these things feel very similar in hand i just like i, I like both of them i really do like they uh it's just a different type of locking mechanism and a little bit uh <clears throat> a, a very small uh, difference, but there is a difference in the in the width of the blade here. This is a taller blade, not not the width, but the t the height of the blade. Uh, both of them have pretty good edges on them, uh, you know, from the factory or whatever. Of course, this one's got that pin lock. You know, that's where uh, you, Demco Custom they made it where you could stick something in in that hole there, and the the knife wouldn't be able to come down on your hands for you know, uh, just in case the triad lock did fail. <clears throat> it uh. I don't think it got much use from anybody, but he still leaves that hole there, or, or Coach still still leaves that hole there for, uh, I guess, nostalgia or whatever. But I don't know if the 8010 will replace my love for the 8015, but it offers, <laughs> it 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 offers just as much joy if that makes any sense. So I'm I'm glad to have it around. Not gonna go over all the specs. It's a three and a half inch blade, about eight and a half inches overall. It's about six ounces, I think. I'll break a scale out. I'll break a scale out, shit. Might as well break a scale out. I'll finish this coffee real quick, too. If I show you that cup a little bit better, just in case you want one. We'll probably buy some and give some away, too, on a live or something. That's 7.1 ounces. All right, what's 8015? 8015 is 6.6 .6 ounces. Okay, so it's a little bit lighter. It don't feel it. I think it's the weight that's in the mass because, you know, it's got a lot of, uh, I, th I think it appears to have less handle, less, you know, like it's narrower or whatever. So it feels more solid and chunky than the AD-10. Not, not chunky as in, like this one feels like it may be like, you know, has a little fluff in it. Like it feels lightweight, which is weird. I, I don't, you know how it is, man. You know, like I. It's it's weird, you know, how that, that weight gets distributed sometimes, but this does feel like a a lighter knife than the ninety fifteen and it's not. So anyway, while well, we got the scale on, Zambezi. Three point two ounces. So that's not a you know, a lot it's not a lightweight knife by any stretch of the imagination. But um I mean like that weight don't bother me as I carry this one in my right pocket and the one of them in my left pocket all day, you know. Um this thing just kinda hanging out in the bottom of the pocket, just chilling. If anybody knows how to put a clip, like a pocket clip on a, on a slip, you got any ideas, let me know. I haven't really, I haven't studied the anatomy of one. I probably just need to buy one, see how, it's, how, like, you know, how they're put together. Uh, I've got an idea, but I'm, I'm not sure how long it would last. I was just thinking about putting some thread through, like, you know, take like a regular old three hole pocket clip and, and sewing it on uh, as good as you possibly can with uh, with the thread, and then maybe 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 putting a little coat of acrylic over it, just keep it still. But anyway, man, I'm recording this in the middle of the week. It's Wednesday, and uh, <laughs> we has we got some shirts in too, but I put them all in the washer. Courtney got me two X because she's uh, she trying to tell me I'm getting fat. Message received, Courtney. She's cooking dinner right now. She's being here with us. Um. Anyway, so that's a cup. That's the Saint Pisser cup. There's a regular Apex Alchemy cup too. 
And I don't know if you can be able to tell it on camera, but there is like a little stream coming. Like, uh, anyway, I, it's just a, you know, I, I think Matisfaction was one that maybe, I can't remember exactly. I think Matisfaction had something to do with this, uh, the sink pissing stuff. Y'all don't know the story about that. It was, uh, we was on a live and we was talking about, uh, um, uh, urinals and why, why, you know, houses always have toilets and women gripe because we don't put the, the seat up or seat down. What are we supposed to do? You know, obviously, <laughs> obviously Courtney don't gripe at me too much for it, but, um, you're supposed to put the seat down, right? Yeah. Yeah. We lift the seat. So we, we put it back down for them. And, uh, you know, it'd be a lot easier just to stick a urinal on the wall so we wouldn't have to mess with the toilet anyway, right? You know, like, in, and then we were talking about, you know, I, we ain't rich enough to have toilets, so we'd have to sit, you know, we'd have to piss in the sink. And that's, you know, that's kind of, that's kind of where all that stuff come from, you know, and uh, it was it was just a fun day. I think it was uh, Matisfaction, Dopey, can't remember who all had something to do with that, but it was, uh, it, it's just kind of stuck with the channel. Uh, but anyway... Like I said, I don't know. I'm I'm not sure how much everything costs. I didn't look through it, but whatever whatever profit is there will go toward the channel for giveaways and stuff like that. You know, it's uh, I don't I don't like taking y'all's money. You know, like so it, it'd just be a way to chip in on a giveaway or something like that. If you you find yourself wanting a mug and wonder what the hell we're gonna do with our money. And that's what it's going to be, you know. It'd be something like that. We always try to give you, you know, like, we always try to figure out a way to get your money back to you, or at least one of you, right? But, um, y'all, have a blessed night.